Let's be honest. There are times when the smoke from a campfire can really become a nuisance. And there are times when building a campfire just isn't convenient, both in the summer and in the winter, like right now. Right there, buried in the snow, is my fire pit. Sometimes your fire pit isn't available or you may not have one. Sometimes firewood isn't readily accessible. Sometimes campfires are banned. However, campfires are magical. They make us happy. They bring us all together and they keep us warm. It's all part of the camping experience and making our funneries. That's what I call fun memories. That's why I'm so excited that I discovered this guy. This is called the fire can and it's made by Ignic. First, let me show you just how easy it is to set this thing up. Okay, we're ready to get this thing lit. Voila, we got fire. You can control the flame with this regulator. So watch what happens when I turn it up. Oh, that's down. Ooh. That's open all the way. This gives out a lot of heat. This only took less than a minute to set up. This is gonna be so convenient. Then when you're all done with it to turn it off, you just turn down the regulator and turn the propane off and disconnect the hose. That's it. But what else is really cool is the legs on this fire pit fold up making it easier for us to store it. And it's super portable, making it easy to take with us anywhere we wanna go. I'm curious, do you have a portable fire pit? And if so, do you use it a lot and do you love it? Ignic, the company that makes this fire can and this gas growler also sells lava rocks for the fire can but they were temporarily out of stock. So I ordered these lava rocks from a different company on Amazon. I think these are just gonna add some extra ambiance. And these lava rocks look cool. Plus they're gonna help distribute the heat. I'm still gonna be making my traditional campfires, but I also know that I'm gonna be using this portable fire pit a lot, just because it's gonna be so convenient to use and because it's just so easy to use. And when I use it, I'm also gonna be saving a lot on the cost of firewood. So that's a really nice extra bonus. I've always thought that having a portable fire pit would be really nice to have, but in the past I've only found big and bulky ones and I just didn't have room nor did I want to store something in my camper that was that big. And this one is the perfect size. Not only is it going to be easy to store almost anywhere, but it's so portable that you can bring it anywhere with you. Definitely use it for camping, but you can bring it out in your backyard or use it when you're sitting on the beach on a summer night. Yeah, you can bring this guy anywhere. And real quick, I wanted to let you know that I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link to this fire pit in the video description below. That way it's going to be really easy for you to find it on Amazon. And I appreciate you for using my affiliate links. Thank you so much. <laughs> The only con that I can think of regarding this fire can is that it only works with 5, 10, and 20 pound propane canisters or propane tanks. Most RVs have a 20 pound propane tank on board and they also usually have a regulator that you can hook hoses up to, but then this being only a four foot length hose, you're gonna be constrained to that area. It does not work with these one pound green propane bottles, which actually is a good thing. I mention this for two reasons. I've been using a one pound green propane bottle for lighting my grill for a lot of years now, and you might be using them too. So first I wanted to let you know that they do not work with this fire pit. And secondly, that's kind of a really good thing because I've recently learned just how ridiculous it is to use these. We're wasting a lot of money, and we're causing a lot of harm to the environment. 
and when I discovered the truth behind these bottles, I almost was kind of sick to my stomach that I had been using them so much. Please don't make the same mistake that I've been making. I really want you to watch this video next. This video right up here is going to explain everything. This video right here is going to save you a lot of money and you're going to do a lot of good for the environment as well. So please click on this video and watch it next. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. That's a wrap.